So in the, in the first video, um, it's kind of like a part one. I was basically giving a reason for why I hope to, why I, well not why I hope to, but why I'm doing these videos. One, uh, I hope they will be a blessing and a benefit to my children. Um, while I'm here, um, I hope to, to train them up into some of the, the, the things that I will be talking to uh, about in these videos over however long I do them. Um, but also, I hope maybe they will be a benefit and a blessing to others, right? Uh, there are a lot of uh, people who are, uh, do commentaries, who do podcasts, who are great thinkers, great leaders, great influencers, uh, write and speak thought-provoking things. Um, so I don't, I don't see myself as being some type of, of some type of some great thinker or what have you. But sometimes, you, uh, you know, I might have a way of putting things together that might be a benefit to others. But mostly, uh, like I said before, I want to do these videos for my children. It may, it may be able to blossom uh, into something else. But um, so anyway, like I said before in the first video, the reason for this, these videos are for my children. For if there comes a time that I would leave this world, right? Uh, because I, you. Uh, whoever's watching this, you may have actually heard of this before, right? So I've heard of uh, a guy some years ago, I wish I had think of his name or what, what was the name of the lecture he did, but he basically found out he had terminal cancer and he knew he was going to, he knew he was going to, going to die. And I think it took him, it took less than a year. I don't think he was, it took a long time. And when it happened, he got really, he got famous towards those last few months because of his, he had this like great lecture thing going on in his life, and I, I don't even think he, I don't think he's religious. I think he just, you know, he felt like, you know, this is it, you know, and I wanted to do some good before I left this world, right? Um, and you've probably heard of other stories like that. I think I've even heard of another father who knew he wasn't going to live a long time, and he, he did kind of a, a bunch of videos for his children to, to look at and think about and have for years long, you know, after he's been gone, after he was gone. So that's what I kind of wanted to do. Um, as far as I know, I'm in good, good health and strength. Uh, with COVID-19 going on and being, uh, sometimes people have not even having any symptoms, it's possible you can leave tomorrow. Uh, but, and that could just happen anyway, even before the pandemic. You can get by a car. I uh, was in contact with a writer whose name I won't mention here. Um, it was run, run over by a bus. And she lived through it, you know, amazingly. You bounced back, doing very well, very intelligent uh, sister. Um, obviously her intellect had nothing to do with being hit by a bus, but anyway, um, it happened and she lived through it, right? But that doesn't happen every day. You know, sometimes, you know, it can be a heart attack. I think I read about a guy recently who had a brain aneurysm. Uh, anything can happen at any given time or day. And I think that's kind of the thing that I've always, and I've never wanted to live a long time anyway. That's just my own personal, um, uh, thing or whatever. But I always thought to myself, man, you know, if my kids got to be five or 10 or, 15 or 20 and they you know were going through some trial or tribulation because we all go through them we all have them uh different ranges different levels some of them are not as um, um extreme or stressful as others but we, we all face them right um i want them to have something to at least from their father anyway and i think their mother is very intelligent and wise i think she would do wonderful without without me if that was the case but i wanted them to have something to, to watch and Say, well, what would dad do in this situation? What, what, how, what would he say? What would he, how would he have maybe have managed it? If, like I said, if I don't get the chance to have them uh, until, you know, they're young adults, until we're all older, right? Because anything can happen in this life. So that being said, that's what I wanted to do with these videos. And I'll touch on different things. I hope to do a lot more encouraging things. I, I might touch on politics to a degree, but it's such a polarizing thing nowadays. And I'm, I'm kind of not in the... I'm really not in the mood for that anymore. I'm, I'm almost like becoming more and more apolitical, if that if that makes any sense, just because it's it's so tiring. It's it's, it's heartbreaking to me to live in a world where we kind of forget that we're human beings that are just flawed, you know, in our essence, and trying to look at the other human being and say, hey, let me figure out the way to love you the way you are. You know, I disagree with some something about you or don't like something about you, because we all make judgments, period. I, people say, well, don't, you shouldn't judge. That's hogwash. We all judge. Um, but I want to be loving, right? So I'm not, I might touch on different topics, but the whole point is to be a blessing, to be encouragement, to be a benefit to people, and hopefully have my children have something to think about long after I'm gone, even if they don't agree. Thanks.